Hello there, I'm making my video today about my latest creation. Uh, it's last but not the least. Uh, this is the art book. I wouldn't call it an art book. Or this is a collection, not even a collection. Uh, this is a set of two books, an art book. But any colored book, which I called Eclectic Meadow. And um, the second is uh, just a tiny journal that you can use so let me show you i'm not gonna just talk too much so uh, here is the closure let's put it aside and here is the front co front cover this is an old botanical book uh, the, the cover the original cover from an old botanical book from uh, 1970s and uh, I embroidered a little parts a little bit some parts of uh, this uh, cover just decided to give it uh, as much eclectic look as possible and moreover there are, there are some embroidered images botanical images inside so that's the back side uh, the back side of the spine it's hand knitted piece and uh, pretty nice and that's one more back back cover uh, these pieces are sewn here and here and the inner spine is also sewn hand stitched to the cover so it's like you know it's it's big as you can see we have a lot of space but all this space is uh, used actually so that's the front page and uh, this is as easy as that this is just for some tag oh again haven't prepared the tag i will put some tag here definitely and here is a piece from the original book this one this is a page from it an illustration uh, in this transparent uh, pocket where you can actually put anything that you would like to be on display this is another fantasy flower it's supposed to be poppy but then i made it uh looking like this um, this flower is a little bit and um, just got something in, in in between uh this is the page from another botanical book on um, poppies and this is a page from 1960 or something uh magazine Rus magazine in russian uh nature young nature lover you know i have a collection and i recently bought uh some more issues of this magazine and now i have more pages to add to uh, my journals this is the original cotton uh lace curtain it's new as you can see but it dates back to 1960s as well i bought a big big pile of that and i'm gonna use it uh, this is a collage made of canvas for stitching, for cross stitching and original old book pages. Uh, die card that I call it with uh, distress, uh, blah, blah, distress markers from Tim Holtz. It's 3D because the die is 3D die and it gives this dimension. And this is a kind of a stitched frame which is actually uh, stitching these two tiny cuties, stumped, stump work, right? Or whatever they call it, or 3D stitching, embroidery. It's cute and it matches a lot. This particular, this beautiful flower. I think they have something in common. And uh, uh, this is the stenciled texture paste. And I added a lot of uh, a lot of acrylic splashes here and there strokes uh, another page from another botanical journal uh, or book and uh, some more stenciled images and another collage with uh, different types of paper and die cuts this piece of die cut is uh, colored with watercolor and these are with uh, distress inks Okay, and this is the page on also on the poppy. It's taken from 
this book and it accompanies the picture and here is the picture from the old botanical card also you have a collection of cards here it's also on poppies and you have some pieces of this card in different places this is the continuation of uh, the entry on uh, poppies and uh, some more stenciling and texture paste texture paste is very rough and I left it as is because it gives more dimension it gives more roughness harshness to the whole thing which I wanted intended it to be like that a page from another botanical book also representing different uh, meadow plants and one more uh, this one is as you can see you probably can see but probably you can't uh, here is a tiny piece of thyme uh, pressed thyme which I uh, fixed here sealed here with uh, matte varnish but matte varnish turned out to be pretty glossy so to cover the glossiness I used texture paste and then sprayed but anyway uh, just it gave more dimension and so on so some cotton uh, some die cuts some fussy cut and everything like that another 3d embroidery piece my favorite i would say for this journal and um, red clover pink which is actually supported by the stenciled flowers of the meadow and this piece from the 2013 calendar uh, it goes on about uh, clover as well because this is uh, the specific calendar I bought on medicinal plants as well another piece of uh, pressed plant and one more poppy with stencil uh, flowers around and this one also this is a card postcard uh, showing the meadow it can be used for picture holding you know like that and uh, it opens up and gives the envelope envelope where i will put something surprise some tiny surprise for a new owner and uh, this is uh, the the uh, center of the first signature uh, where just a little piece of uh, fabric and uh, also pretty meadowish and uh, this is the 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 beginning of the second part of it a daisy again 3d embroidered with some supporting flowers and then here they come more collages uh, tracing paper piece this by the way i have totally forgotten this is also vintage it's an old uh, photo album page and this one is amazing because this is actually this says golden meadow or golden valley uh, this is this dates back to 1988 and this this book is on <laughs> on the childhood on on the forest on the nature and on everything uh, these are my but actually this is from my childhood i read it when I was a child, you see, isn't it a meadow? It's amazing, right? Dandelions. Look at these dandelions. Oh, they're really nice, all these illustrations. And I left it intact, like I glued it on the back part so that you could uh, enjoy the pictures. Probably read if you know any Russian, because it's in Russian. Uh, let's move on. So these are the cornflowers. Right? Am I right? Maybe yes. Mm. And some more botanical books, pages. Another set of, well, you know, the depth of the paper for the journal was uh, picked, uh, was assembled, uh, bearing in mind the eclectic style. So this one is gray, pretty different, it's pretty soft. This is a small poem on flowers. Oh, by the way, this is red clover. <laughs> also sealed with a <laughs> so-called matte varnish but at the same time then covered with paste and everything uh, scrapbooking paper 
and some more vintage book pages this by the way i've forgotten to tell you that this also is an old uh, old uh, postcard from the collection and it goes like that and a sticker and a brown paper just to give the texture and this is the second side and this says 1971 and this is the second side uh, of the magazine uh, page this one is another picture another postcard from the collection of uh, vintage botanical postcards uh, there is a pocket here for a tiny surprise for you and there is another pocket here this time this pocket holds another uh, amazing book it's 1972 it's a book on uh, with different uh, quizzes and um, as you can see as it opens up you can see the sweet pea here which is actually uh and daisies and everything sorry probably probably there's something wrong with my battery but i hope not uh, i will be able to finish it up and it doesn't die before i finish so i just left it as as that Ah, uh, the front, the middle, the middle part is actually big, it's double, and here it is, a tiny bottle, it's wooden, and it's originally uh, really vintage, it, it dates back to the previous century, and uh, it, uh, there was, there was, there was some rose oil, but now there is a tiny surprise there, tiny thing that also refers to uh the things depicted in the journal the middle of the journal is the middle of this art journal is this uh, actually writing journal botanical one with soft made remade from recycled from the soft cover book and uh, there are some folds the folded cover uh, the middle part comprises a lot of different papers pages and images images from different botanical books so some of these images can be used for coloring some for copying and just some for enjoying and a lot of stuff can be used for writing here and the second also these frames are all usable you can put something inside so it goes here and here comes the second signature the second signature is a huge daisy and uh, I uh, sealed it with the uh, same old stuff but then I covered the center with uh, with the glossy with the glitter glue to give it uh, not to let it sorry not to let it peel and added uh, and added uh, some yellow acrylic paint around this one is one of my favorites uh, call it sweet pea or call it we call it machine and garoshek like mouse pea uh, peas and um, i hope i pronounce it in the right way and <laughs> it doesn't sound like something else and uh, this is again an old um, photo album page uh, six, 1967 as far as i remember some sticker this is uh, 3d embroidery so you can actually see and touch the tiny peas inside seeds inside this uh, seed pots and the picture from this general this book and uh, a little piece of a pressed pea 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 uh -huh. and it's also glued here and covered with some texture paste and some spray and here we are this one is a pocket made of uh, let me add this this beauty here this pocket is made i know it's too big i think this one will go better here right this one is made uh, of uh, kind of it's not maybe glycine or something wrapping paper or something it's a package and there's also uh, some pressed plant beneath covered with layers and uh, you can it's it's pretty pretty palpable uh, some 
tiny collage, or not a collage, a setting with another meadow plant and uh, another middle plant, middle plant and go on and go on. This one is about cornflowers. I mean this uh, entry and this is another picture from 1971 magazine Young Nature Lover, also something about the middle flowers. Okay, uh, this goes on speaking about uh, about the cornflower, some more flowers. Not all of them probably grow in the meadow, but I guess <laughs> you may grow them. Whatever you grow there will grow there. And a dandelion. A dandelion, it's pretty puffy, it's pretty big, also 3D stitched, and I actually adore this style. Okay, uh, a lot of... Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of things, like uh, also an entry by the cornflower. Uh, there is a lot of uh, texture paste, stenciling, different textures. The papers are torn and the pictures are uh, come from different resources. This one is also authentic. It, it has come to me from France, probably. And uh, some more and more and another collage i'm trying to hurry to get to be able to get in time with my camera battery and some more plant which is actually sealed uh, with also with texture paste and that's that we are coming to the end and a dandelion from a, uh, from a postcard and another assortment this is a piece of a chipboard and a frame some stickers another original bluebell pressed bluebell under some mesh and uh, the back side which is uh, distressed and then uh, i sanded it with sanding paper and uh, this is also some meadow plant sealed here and now now you can see it. it's also a pressed plant and I picked it myself some years ago. And here we come. And here we go. Maybe, maybe, yes. I guess we can do that. Maybe not. And I will put something smaller inside. And this one is about daisies. And this is... Again, something small and tiny. And the last embroidery, this is uh, cross-stitching, and this one was made by my daughter. And this final drop of blue on white, kind of, you know, sky and clouds, and just, just, just freedom, like clean beginning of anything. Um, hope you liked it. I will finish because the camera is flashing. And uh, see you probably soon, probably not. I wish you all to stay safe and to take care. And see you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.